I was thinking on my trip from Oregon down here about what it is about art that I really love and, and how I was attracted to art. And as a child, I was, I was always interested in creation, whatever that might be, like a little cricket farm. The reason that um, little free libraries really interest me is because they're really a community art piece. It was the opportunity to make a piece of art that not only brought joy and vibrancy and, and beauty to the community, but it's a place for people to gather. It's a place for people to start um, sharing or continuing to practice sharing. I thought about insects and bees because they're gonna have a really neat slow hive here. And I thought about uh, the nature of bees and how they're so community oriented and how they work together, they live together, they create an environment that is, it's incredibly uh, technical actually, even down to the temperature of the hive and how they work together with their little wings to keep it cool and there's all these really neat things about bees. And so I thought that would be a really fun thing to bring into this. I use a lot of tile that I find like salvage on Craigslist. All the wood in here is salvaged off of Nextdoor app. I just put a little thing out there and said, I'm building this little free library. Does anybody have lumber? And they gave it to me. It was awesome. And then all of the shakes, all the wood shakes are actually from the Restore Habitat for Humanity. The genesis, the genesis for me of artwork was creation. And creation grew and evolved into incorporating my spirit, the environment around me, and how all of that affected the people that live in our world and the animals and the plants. So the parcel box was a really, a really fun challenge to think about what do I want to put on a parcel box. And um, I thought about our mail and UPS and FedEx, they're traveling all around the world. And I thought about how that travel as well as the kind of building that we do and the kind of net zero championship that they're doing all comes together around the world. I started working with that idea and then I have a lot of fun playing with energy flow in my design work. I like things to kind of move around and um, so that atmosphere moves around and into all parts of this design. And when I thought about the Earth and the planet and what it is that keeps us all alive, it's not only the atmosphere, it's our water systems. And so on the back of this design, I have the waves and the fish, the things that live in our water system, and then the trees we couldn't live without a photosynthesis cycle. And so the sun informs the trees, and the trees come back and they, they help our atmosphere and then they feed us. They feed us the plants and the people, and the people were interconnected physically uh, in every which way to the planet. We've kind of lost that connection. I, I really wanted to express how important that connection is. One of my very favorite photographs ever is of, of the planet Earth just basically hanging in space with this thin blue veil around it this atmosphere and we couldn't live on this planet without that atmosphere.